Okay, quick update on the one wing mod. So I uh, took the centerpiece that came off the fuselage here and I inserted it in the center. Uh, I also put a carbon fiber rod, the big thick ones, not this, you know, the biggest one I could get. And uh, the hard part was creating a hole on both sides that you know lined up properly. It was a little bit of uh, digging out on both sides and then filling it up with Gorilla Glue so that it would expand and take up any gap for uh, any imperfections that I had created. So I have, I've got a carbon fiber rod that um, extends from here to here on the front here. I've got a carbon fiber rod uh, in a trench right here that I dug and that was kind of hard digging that trench down deep enough so that I didn't have pieces of it sticking up on both sides. Now the carbon rod, the, the fiber rod that I put right here is a uh, good size uh, ribbon but it's thick and this thing's not going to budge. So I've got one going across here and then in the center obviously you know we've got the stock one. I glued it in with Gorilla Glue on both sides made it nice and solid. So the, the strategy here is to uh, have a, uh, a back, a middle, and a front carbon fiber rod that's Gorilla glued in on both sides. Uh, be nice and tight and then I used a uh, 5 minute 3,000 pound epoxy in the center here along all the seams and then uh, put a clamp on it. Yeah, this is the clamp that I used and just clamped it together. Nice solid tight fit and uh, I think I think it's going to be good. Now um, I did a test fit uh, before I glued everything together back onto the fuselage and these pieces are a little tight getting them underneath that lip but um, if everything works out right, I, I'll probably just uh, put one little coat of epoxy on these tabs here to strengthen them a little bit. And then one final thing I'll do on the fuselage here is uh, probably put a little coat right here to harden this up and then harden these tabs up uh, on the sides uh, so that um, these things are nice and solid when I bolt it down. Now doing uh, taking this approach um, is a little different than the other one wing mods I, I saw out there. Uh, because I don't have to create new uh, bolt holes in the fuselage, which saved me some time. So I'm hoping all this works out and um, should be nice and solid. Uh, I already put the, the new motor in it. Um, nice little 1200 watt motor. That uh, actually performs better than the specs say, uh, you know, listed as on the website. I've, I've got another one in an F4U that uh, goes pretty, pretty good. Plenty of power. And this ought to be fun. So uh, once this uh, finishes drying, uh, I'll go ahead and finish assembling the rest of the plane. Uh, one last thing I got to do is uh, resolder some new tips on because that motor takes a bigger wire. And once I do that, I'll be running a 4005 cell on it. And uh, when I get together, I'll put the prop on and then shoot a final video of it before we go maiden.